Today, I'm going to um, do a video on my Sequoia, first gen Sequoia here. I, uh, I built a bumper, custom bumper from Coastal Off-Road. And my springs are now not good enough to support the new bumper here. Which I'll show you here in a second. This is the car behind me in the back. And um, so I'm upgrading the springs. I'm gonna take them off, bring them into a shop, have them done, because I don't have the uh, spring compressor, whatever it's called. And, uh, and then I'm also gonna do some pounding in the wheel wells, because they're rubbing some. Um, and that's it. It's gonna be a quick little video. Thanks for watching. If you watch to the end, I'm gonna show a receipt of my suspension build. This is where my tires rub in here. These are, um, if you can see here. So that's uh, what I'm gonna I'm gonna pound in that pinch weld there with a sledgehammer and cut this uh, step back. I know the step sucks, but uh, I need it for my family the time being until I have uh, funds to get actual real rock sliders so give me a break on that but uh so this is what i'm doing take the tire off take the shocks off here and uh bring them to the shop and have them put the new 700 pound duty springs on 700 pound springs on sorry and yeah and that should be it pretty easy job it's just all about getting the time to do it. So these are the springs that I have here. Take a look inside. I have um, these are 700 pounds. This is the part number. So I'm going to try to kind of eyeball from the matter middle of the hub here the best I can and then, um, and then I'll probably measure off the ground too I'll get two measurements but let's, let's see what it is watch to the end to see the amazing results I got about 21 and a half roughly I know my tape's moving a little bit, but um, I'm not that worried about actually what it goes up, so I bet I'd just like to get an idea. So we've got 21 and a half. I'm actually going to put that in my phone so I don't forget what I do. So these are the tools I'm going to use to remove the coilover. It's a 14 millimeter nut on the top of the coilovers. There's three of them and one bolt on the bottom of the coilover. It's a 19 millimeter. And these are the tools I'm going to use. Um, uh, open end a ratchet wrench 19 and 14 millimeter and socket wrenches and this impact. Let's do this. Okay, here we are. We're going to start uh, removing the coilovers and the fix the tire rubbing. I'm getting set up here. I'm going to lift the truck up and put jacks under it for safety. And let's get this done as quick as I can.
One thing to mention that I almost forgot about is that uh, you want to mark a driver and passenger, that's how they're set up. Um, yeah, so remember to mark those so you get that right. Here I am pounding the pinch well down where my tire was rubbing. It's just a quick little video showing what I was doing. Uh, not much to show, pretty boring, just pounding, pounding away, more pounding away. Got the coilovers back, let's install. Now we're going to install the driver's side. These big mechanic pry bars sure come in handy. I use them all the time. I have three different sizes. This is the big one. But for stuff like this, wow, sure does the job.
21.5. Sorry about the camera angle, I sure blew it on that one. inches. That's a lot. That's huge for clearance. Awesome. Maybe it's going to settle, but I don't know. There's a pretty heavy duty spring, so we'll see. Badass! So the next two clips I'm going to show you the before and after of the inside the fender well where it was rubbing and what a big difference it sure made. You'll see. Before and after. So I also want to show you here that since the truck went up two and a half inches and I pounded the hell out of this pinch well here. Look at all the clearance I got. I'll try to get together a before and after, but man, that's a that's a big difference. Huge difference. I, I I think I'm good on the tire rubbing. Hopefully, we'll see. So here's the list of um, of my suspension build out. I'm gonna give a shout out to first gen off road Josh. Great help. Amazing customer service. Highly recommended. So here's what I got. I'll just work my way down the list here. Got the extended sway bar links, differential drop kit, SPC upper control arms, steering rack bushings, Dobison rear springs 2.75 lift, Dobison rear long travel shocks, and Gilstein 6112s. Um, and I had the 650 pound springs on it, and I changed those out to 700. So, yep, this is it. This is what it cost. And um, I, have a, I have an O2 Toyota Sequoia. And that this all worked great. 